guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY bath bombs and these would also be a great Valentine's Day gift because Valentine's Day is coming up so I thought I'd kind of incorporate that with it. They're really easy to make and they're really fun to make and also this is a collab with Ashley so she did a Valentine's Day party for a video so I'll link it down below or you can click right here to watch it and you should totally check it out and subscribe to her channel. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Tweet me a picture if you try making them. My Twitter will be right here. This is my Twitter. And subscribe for more videos every week if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you in like two seconds. Okay, bye. As for what you will need for these, you will need baking soda, Epsom salts, cream of tartar or citric acid, food coloring, arrowroot or cornstarch, olive oil or any oil of your choice, essential oils, and molds. You can get creative with the mold and kind of use whatever you think will work. To start off, I'm taking four tablespoons of baking soda and putting that in a bowl. One tablespoon cream of tartar or two tablespoons citric acid. Then one or two tablespoons of arrowroot or cornstarch. Then I didn't get this clip filmed apparently, but two tablespoons of Epsom salt. And then you're just gonna mix all those together. Then in a jar, you're going to put 3 4 teaspoons of an essential oil, so basically your scent that you chose. And then just 3 4 teaspoons of water. Next, add 2 4 teaspoons of olive oil, or the oil that you chose. And then you're just going to put a few drops of your food coloring in. Next, you're going to put the lid on and shake it all up so the mixture is completely mixed together. And then I decided to scoop my dry mixture into do two different bowls so that I can make two different colored bath bombs. And then I just repeated the process for the liquid one so I could do a different color. After that, you're just going to put your liquid into the dry mixture and mix it all up until it's completely combined. Also, by the way, I'd recommend doing a different color than I used. Like the yellow turned out fine, but the green didn't really look as good as it could have in the bath. So I'd use like a pink or a red or something. But anyways, after that, you're just going to put it into your mold and like pat it down really tightly with a spoon. And I decided to layer mine so you can always do that and get creative with it. <laughs> Once it's all packed into your molds, you're just going to let that sit for about 5 hours or you can just do it overnight and then you can pop them out and use them. Oh. This is how my bath bombs turned out. I think they look awesome except for the color. I wish I did a different color but other than that, I love them. They make your skin really soft. They like The color really shows up in the bath kind of like shimmers and it smells really good and yeah i think they turned out great so you should totally try them out and all my animals came in to see what i was doing anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave me a comment and give it a thumbs up do all that stuff and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Take it. I